All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a towel right here. I'm going to tuck it in inside his shirt. And the reason for this is so I can wipe down my blade whenever I'm shaving him. I don't want my blade to be full of hair. When it's time to clean it, I'll just go ahead and wipe it right there. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be using Art of Shaving Shaving Cream. This is the consistency it comes in. And honestly, you need it very, very little. So I just like to get a finger's worth and I apply a few dots wherever I'm, wherever I'm gonna be shaving. And when I put the hot towel and it moistens up the product, then I'm gonna be able to just scrub it around the hair and easily be able to shave it, all right? All right, guys, when preparing the hot towels, you don't just wanna make a, a ball, wet it and heat it up. No, you wanna make sure the towels um, hold in the heat. So the way I like to do it is I like to fold it in half fold it in half again and then roll it up just like this then I'll wet it and that way when I heat it up it's gonna trap all the heat inside the towel All right, so after you wet the towels, you just go ahead and take all that excess water out of there. You just want it to be kind of moist. You don't want it to be soaking wet. I put them for about two minutes in the microwave. If you have a towel warmer, that's even better. Um, I don't like the towel warmer because it takes too long to warm up the towel. So I just like using the microwave. I put it in here for two minutes and it's a wrap. All right guys, so the towels just came out of the microwave. First thing I'm gonna do is open them up and you can see how all that vapor comes out. It's super hot right now. So I like to test it out on my form. If it's too hot for my form, then it's too hot for, for his face. So I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, just shake it up, keep putting it on my form until I feel that it's not hurting anymore and then it's okay to put it on his face. So lift your chin up a little bit for me. You wanna put it under the, on his neck and fold it right here on the mouth and then wrap it around the face. Boom. Boom. And that way you have a double layer of towel right here, right on the mustache and right on the chin area, which is the thickest part of the face. Uh, right now we're not doing a full shave. I'm just going to shave his neck and the top of his beard right here because he wants to keep a beard. But if you are doing a full shave, this is really good if you're going to shave the mustache and the chin area, which is tends to be the, the thickest part of the face. And I'm going to put another towel on top of this one. I like doing the double towel because it just helps soften the hair a little bit more. So again, under the neck, fold it right on top of the lip area. Around the face, you put one area over first, one part of the towel, and then the other part, boom. And that's it. All right guys, time to take off the towels. You wanna to let that sit there for a minute or two. Let the hair get nice and soft. Once you feel, feel that the towels are starting to cool down, then you wanna go ahead and take them off. Something that I like to do is I like to take off the top part of the towel first and then just leave this here a little while longer. And if you, your client gets a tape, then you can go ahead and razor their tape line up. And you're gonna notice that it's a lot smoother because that area had the hot towel on it. All right, after you do that, take off the rest of the towel. Boom. I like getting a cup with some warm water dipping my fingers in it and it just helps me spread this shaving cream a little bit better. So you see, a little bit goes a long way with this Artist Shaving product. So typically people would use this to help spread the shaving cream around. I personally don't like to use this on customers because I just find it a little bit unsanitary putting this on every single person's face and that's why I use my hands instead. 
All right, guys, so you want to take into consideration the pattern of the hair and what direction it grows. As you can tell right here, this hair is growing downwards. So first you want to shave with the grain of the hair. And then once all of that is gone, then you shave against the grain. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch the skin right here and just go ahead and shave with the grain of his hair. I got my towel right here. All right, now that all that hair is gone, I can go ahead and go against the green. So I'm just going to put a little bit more water. I'm going to moisten that up a little bit more. Stretch the skin one more time. Just go against the green. Same thing for the other side. You see now in, in this side, the hair grew down and this side, the hair is growing up. So in this side, I'm going to shave upwards first. And a good little tip is you can use the towel to stretch the skin because if you use your fingers, it's going to be a little bit slivery. So you got the towel right here. This is when good uh, learning different strokes comes in handy. Since his hair is growing in that direction, I can just use the reverse stroke right here. See, this hair is growing down, so I'm going to go down. All right, here you can notice that the hair is growing downwards. So first I'm gonna go down with it. I'm gonna stop right around the area where I did the outline with my trimmer. And then I'm gonna go upwards. Right now I wouldn't really focus on getting it as sharp as possible because you can't see very clearly because of the shaving cream. 
Right now I would just focus on cleaning that area up and once the shape is done, we can go back and get any little detail to make it as sharp as possible. All right guys, now that the shave is done, um, the last step is to use some aftershave. Again, I'm not sponsored by Art of Shaving, I just love using their products. So I'm gonna use a bourbon scented aftershave. What I love about these products too is that a little bit goes a long way, just like the shaving cream, you don't need that much. And then another thing that I like to use is Lucky Tiger uh, Vanishing Cream. This helps moisturize the face after you put the aftershave on it. It also works good as an aftershave and as a face cleanser. So it's like a three in one and it, it just feels amazing too because it has like a little bit of menthol in it. So it's soothing. Alright guys, now we're going to use a cold towel to seal the pores and finish everything off. So um, you don't need to have a fridge full of cold towels. You can just get the same towel you use. And since it's already wet, you just give it a little bit of a spin, get some air into it, and then it'll get freezing cold just by doing this. Feel it on your forearm, super cold. And now you apply the towel the same way that you apply the, the hot towels on the neck. Double fold over the lip and then just over the face. And this is an Oster, um, I forget the name, but it's, it's a massager. So you just put it in your hand like this and it vibrates. This is a nice little finishing touch to the shave. You don't have to do this. I like doing it because it adds a little bit of extra value to the whole experience, right? So, yep. Besides, this is, um, people get this not only just because they want to have a shave and they want their, their shave to last longer, people get this because it's super relaxing, so um, that, that's an even more of a reason to get something like this because it just makes the experience way more relaxing.
All right, guys, now that I took the cold towel off, I put the soothing vanishing cream and I did all that stuff, his skin is super, super soft. So if there's any extra hairs that you want to take off right now, it's a perfect time to do so. All right guys, so the hot towel shave is already done. Um, like I said earlier in the video, since the shaving cream is in the way, you can't really see the details of the line on the beard. So I like to put a little bit of water after the shave is done, just to make sure that I get it nice and sharp. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Stretch the skin. All right, bro, how was it? Amazing. Amazing. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in, all right? I'll see you next time.